Have you guys been watching the World Cup recently? Because Blue Lock is soccer, football soccer. I don't know. I've been raised to call it soccer. Japan, Team Japan is advancing to top 16. This is over some ridiculous upsets. They beat Germany, then they recently beat Spain like two days ago. Yo, Blue Lock is actually happening right now for Team Japan. Well, I think a lot of people are actually saying that Japan's like uh, the way that they were winning isn't through individual effort, but rather more teamwork. But then you could argue individuality is what rose to that teamwork to build around that one. Remember, that's the whole concept of Blue Lock. Yo, I think Ego is about to pop off because right now it's looking like I'm not going to say they're going to win the entire thing, but holy shit, they're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Lock. Last episode, we're more setting up for the next um, match that's about to happen. So here's my guess of what's going to happen. Nagi is the white haired, the silver haired dude, and they're playing around him. He's, a, he's supposed to be like super, super lazy because he's so talented. They mirrored one of our plays at the end of the episode when we kind of fucked up. They did it perfectly. And he said, that was, that was so easy. What are you guys doing? Right? A little bit BM, but he's truly, truly gifted. Now, who is the opposite of this kind of archetype? The super talented but lazy character. Temple Monk. Has Temple Monk done anything yet? No. I think this is the match where Temple Monk might actually do something. I hope. Just because the they're basically polar opposites in terms of personality. I can already see like a moment where maybe Nagi gives up on a play because he thought that it's pointless. But then Temple Monk never gives up. Goes for something ridiculous. Ends up being the clutch moment to win the match between them. I don't know. There's another character too that we haven't seen anything from except a bunch of just yap yap yap. Raichi. Raichi, every time he's about to do something, they immediately off-screen him. And I'm like, what's going on? It's almost like a running gag. All he does is talk big. But him and Temple Monk, I hope to see something happen in this match. Let's watch today's episode. Yeah, his thing is, um, his ability to control the ball off the pass is insane. Just super talent. See, look, it's Temple Monk and Raichi beside him. Yo, I hope those two do something this match. Awakening? The episode title is called Awakening? Of who, though? It better be of the Temple Monk, man. Temple Monk and Raichi, these two keep getting a little bit of focus already. Not, I mean, it's just process of elimination of who hasn't popped off really yet. It's those two. Okay, okay, come on. Again! It's Raichi and the Temple Monk! Look at that touch. No, he's gonna do a volley. No, are you kidding? Lemon! You know what? I don't blame him. That kick was insane. He did a fucking overhead bicycle kick at that distance. I effortlessly. Huh? It's just a casual Tuesday, man. What are you talking about? That guy's insane. This guy's insane. What the fuck was that? Chigiri? Uh, I think it's... If you can't always rely on Chigiri. He's definitely... Re Who's as fast as him? What? Wait! Faster than Chigiri! Holy shit. That glasses, dude. The Lirio looking dude from Hunter x Hunter is faster? We just built Shigiri up for how many episodes to reveal his strength and you're gonna tell me? This guy is faster? Not only faster, but territory. So kind of like how King Baro... Lemon, I'm not gonna shit on you. It's okay. <laughs> but you know how like Le King Baro had like a, his 27 meter radius or like distance uh, territory zone to do his thing? Big glass, of course. Damn, if he gets in the territory, it's almost like a guaranteed goal. <laughs> Come on, dude. I guess it's good for him because he will still advance because he scored those three goals. It's looking pretty bad though already. Holy shit. Who? Who is it? Bachira? Okay. We haven't gotten much of Bachira since like the beginning episodes. We still have him. The monster's telling him to get excited. This kind of personality is really good. Like, um, most most of the time, yeah, we're already three down. We'll never win. No, no, no. Exactly. You should get excited. You should be, like, almost thrilled to have more difficulty. And then if you keep smiling despite that adversity and you progress, that's, like, such a shonen. Ooh. I love it when their eyes go like that. But that's, like, a perfect, like, shonen. I don't know. Protagonist kind of personality. Surpass your limits. Go beyond. 
That is true. Ooh, his hair looks so different here when he's like running with the bangs up. He looks like he's going Super Saiyan. But Bachin still needs help. Ooh. And his strength is super dribbling. Oh my god, how many? <laughs> that was like 20 unnecessary. Oh! This guy's insane. Bazantesu! Blunt bangs? I mean, his bangs are kind of blunt, I guess. They're more straight, but... Oh? Unless... And then right! NANI! He didn't even know it was gonna work! It's like, holy shit, this actually worked! Bachira actually gonna do a 1v11 right now? I'm down! I'm down to see a solo show! Everybody else is still just paralyzed, like, holy shit, he's actually going up 1v11. I forgot that we have someone like him in our team. Damn. Because he's been more of in the backseat in a couple of previous episodes, while other characters had more spotlight. You can't give up, this could be your last! Oh my god. Come on, dude, you gotta get a goal after all. No, a trick shot at the end? You're kidding! Show me. What a beautiful shot. Nah. What? That was the most graceful goal. This guy. This guy. The number one has formed in this match. Form around him. Ooh. We need like players like him, man. See, and then everyone else gets inspired and motivated off of this. That was a limit breaking goal. No, it actually was a limit breaking goal. I'm telling you, Temple Monk, please stop teasing me. He, they're, surely they're setting up for something for Temple Monk to pop off on, right? Come on, I just need that one play where he excels Nagi at something. Prevent him from getting the territory. Oh? So, is it confirmed that Zantes is faster than Chibi or... I mean, that's another feat. They explicitly said it and he just sped up again. So, I, it seems to be back and forth. It's a bit back and forth. I don't want to believe that Zantes is faster because... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bro, you can't just do a 180. That's what we need from Temple Monk. Yes! 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 That was ridiculous from Nagi though. It's like a one touch immediate 180 kick volley. Oh, one meter out? One meter more than uh, King Baro's range. You can pass. Pass and get in position for a kick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pass. Just kick! Fuck it! Ex extend that 28 meters, baby! <laughs> Fuck it, just kick! <laughs> this is so ridiculous, like... You know what, you shouldn't be doing this, but I get it. If you're trying to really surpass the limits, yeah, this is the play. Alright. Give me that superhero kick from that distance, though. Uh, curve! Curve! This is like a knuckleball. Oh my... Oh! No spin! It was actually like a knuckleball! It just... No, just kick again, fuck it. <laughs> Pass. Gagamaru's thing is just always ridiculous headers, right? No, don't give up. Oh. Yeah. What? I've only seen... Oh. I've only seen someone do that scorpion kick as a goalkeeper to save a goal before. I haven't seen anyone do that as an offense. Let it rip. Oh. Then pass. Or dribble around. Mm. He's overthinking. He's like way too overthinking. Mm, now is not the time to think about what you don't have though, right? Then it's just gonna be more negative thought. Yeah, exactly. What can you do with what you have? Oh, your eyes are turning, you know, those concentric circles again, and they're glowing blue, meaning he's about to do something crazy. Oh, is that Nagi? 
The guy got it away. <laughs> Nagi would have probably found a way to shoot, though. Yeah, probably. Because you want to win? I mean, to him, I get it. It's just to him, it's like. I, look! I, I, and, like, the thing about Nagi is that he's being completely serious. He's not trying to be disrespectful. It's just. Yeah, yeah, it's because he's so talented and gifted. He's honestly trying to get a sense of, like. What? What? Are, what? Are, why are these guys trying so hard? It's like you're so talentless. Just give up. Like to him, it makes sense. But my God, I sound so disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, this is just soccer and sports. I know. I know it's anime, but when you talk about, do you know what it's like to be awakened? <laughs> yep, you're awake. <laughs> Okay. What do you mean? Are you talking about like the zone where everything just feels like you can do anything? New ego bloom. I mean, you, you said something without saying anything, though. Like you still did. It's basically when facing tremendous adversity, maybe you can figure something new out, and that's what it means to awaken. Sure, let's see what it means, right? We're trying to figure out what can Isagi do. Raichi's doing a really good job locking him down. <laughs> sure, I mean, what a ridiculous thing to say during soccer. Hey, we're getting the Raichi spot, like the highlight I, I was talking about. He doesn't need to score. As long as he can completely disable somebody, like Leo right now, he's done his job. And then Temple Month, if he can somehow stop Nagi, but like, how? I, I just think that there's gonna be a point where Nagi gives up on a play because he thinks it's pointless. But then Temple Month doesn't because he just never gives up. And that's what makes a difference. Whoa, wait. Dude, he dead ass just punched him in the throat. What the fuck? Okay, was that an elbow? It looked like he actually punched him in the throat. <laughs> okay, back to Zantetsu and Chigiri. Who was actually faster? Mm. It seems like Zantetsu has a little bit of a lead based on what we've seen so far. Reaction time seems better, like the initial burst of speed. But what about in the long run? Hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Because? Why? But it's passed to himself. <laughs> no, no, no. But like, can you catch up to him if he has a ramp up? So, in the short burst, he does. But? In the long run, Shigiri. Ex okay, gotcha, gotcha. So they. Like the, again, Zantatsuke is like the initial burst of speed. Chigiri though, so it's like, boom, Zantatsu, and then Chigiri eventually will surpass during the long run. Ten meters, but maybe twenty meters, Chigiri excels. God, that's pretty smart, that's pretty smart. Oh. Long sprinter. I guess. I wonder what's a more better, like like a uh, speed to have, the long sprint or the short sprint. But that's a goal, maybe. Three three tied up. Tied up. Points right back. Let's go, boys. Quon looking so destroyed. This episode is kind of what I thought it would happen, because like, Raishi did do something. He's locking Leo down, and Temple Monk kind of had that one play where he blocked Nagisha with his face, so I, I hope that they continue doing this. I want them to awake and actually do something even more cooler, because like, look at Chigiri pop up. Look at Bachira pop up, right? Look at Mr. Superhero Kunigetsu pop up, right? It's like, we need more of that for them, but also Isagi looks like he's about to do something. I'm not sure what his new formula is going to be other than the spatial awareness, but he's about to do something and Ego seems to be alluding to the blue frenzy that's about to happen. So it should be a fun episode next time. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.